Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's check in with the Oakland Raiders quarterback, Matt McGloin. Of course, uh, what he means to northeastern Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, it's just a great feeling to have Matt uh, with us today and, and knowing that he always contributes to people here in northeastern Pennsylvania. And, and Matt, coming up on uh, Monday, you're going to be with Mike Munchak. 20 years he's been doing this. It is the Mike Munchak Charity Golf Classic, and it all benefits the United Way of Lackawanna and Wayne Counties. Tell us about uh, getting involved with Mike Munchak and what it means for you to, to give back a little bit. Well, last year was uh, actually the first year that I was a part of it. I just thought the whole day was truly amazing. You know, we played a great round of golf, get to meet a lot of different people, and then there's a nice dinner afterwards. And it's for such a great cause that I'm happy to be a part of it and, you know, to have the opportunity to speak with Coach Munchak and see everything that he's done uh, for, for the United Way. And, and like you said, uh, to be doing it for the past 20 years is truly remarkable. Um, and and at, at the end of the day, you know, to, to help out in any way that I can uh, for him and for, for the cause is, is, is something that, you know, I'm always on board for and always look forward to doing. Well, Matt, you've also done some stuff uh, on your own here in northeastern Pennsylvania. You'll be involved with the Boys and Girls Club in July. And, uh, again, uh, just giving back to the community is kind of uh, what your family's all about. Absolutely. Uh, and that's one thing that my mother has always told me throughout my whole career and throughout the whole process is that I never forget where you come from. So uh, anytime I'm back in the strand, I'm excited to be home and always looking to help out. I've, I've uh, worked with the Children's Advocacy Center for the past two years and now this summer in July, I'll be working with the Boys and Girls Club, um, running a fundraiser at night for them and, and, and doing something during the day with them. So I'm really looking forward to that and, and happy to be a part of helping them out. Matt, there's probably a whole bunch of fun stuff you get to do in northeastern Pennsylvania in your home, but I'm sure everybody's pulling at you a little bit for a little bit of your time. Talk about some of the, the fun times with family and friends and things you get to do when you are back home. Obviously, you have some work you need to do every single day. Absolutely, and that, that's kind of one of the first things that's on my mind is that up in the morning, I need to get my workout in, whether it be lifting, conditioning, uh, doing footwork, having some throwing sessions. That, that's, that's the first thing I do in the morning. And then after that, if you know somebody wants to grab lunch that I haven't seen in a while, I'm happy to do it. Uh, you know, go to a dinner here, go to a dinner there. You know, like I said, help on charity events, uh, do a golf tournament. I'm happy to do it, but you know, like I said, I have my priorities in order, and that. You know, football and staying with staying in the NFL and playing for the Oakland Raiders right now is definitely the, the first thing that's on my mind. Well, Matt, let's talk a little bit about the Oakland Raiders and, of course, uh, how camp went. You guys have little uh, preseason workouts, and uh, obviously there's different rules and stuff. All that's kind of wrapped up in the NFL now. And most teams, it's I think you get six weeks off. You'll be back towards the end of July. Uh, tell us about how uh, the last several weeks have gone. Uh, the last few weeks have been great. I thought we, we had a great – uh, OTAs and a great mini camp. Really enjoying being a part of the the new staff uh, in the organization. Um, learning a lot, picking up a new playbook is it, difficult, but I think we're really getting the hang of it. Um, and like I said, we just finished up last week, so these next five or six weeks is the part where you just got to clean up your some of the mistakes that you made. Um, throughout camp, really getting into the playbook, make sure I'm in great shape physically, make sure I'm in great shape mentally, and, and prepared for, for camp up in Napa Valley uh, come the end of July. Matt, the difference between going from college to the pros and picking up that playbook, now going from one pro system to a different pro system with the playbook, talk about those differences. Well, hey, sister, you know, there's a lot of similarities, but there's also the terminology is a lot different. Uh, the coaches kind of expect you to do some different types of things that maybe you're not used to doing. Uh, so those are kind of the things that you need to focus on for these next few weeks in the summer um, just to prepare yourself for upcoming camp and make sure that you get the most of every rep uh, that you're given. Uh, like I said, it's a new playbook. Uh, and it's a new staff, so you need to really impress these guys and show these guys you are capable of making adjustments at the highest level. Matt, how about uh, mentally staying as sharp as you could? You always talk about it, uh, making sure that uh, you know the next play could be your play. You could be in at any moment preparing as if you're going to play every week. Tell us about those things you keep repping and doing in your mind to make sure that you're constantly ready to be uh, in this day and age. Uh, everybody's one play away from uh, you know being on the bench or being injured, and, and you could be the next guy up. Well, well as a backup quarterback, uh, uh, the first thing that you need to prepare for is being prepared mentally. That's 
you need to stay in it. You need to be watching every every rep. You need to be going through plays, going through progressions. What's tough about being a backup is that uh, the, the physical part. Uh, you're not getting as many reps, um, you know, so you're not getting reps with the first-team offensive line or, or the wide receivers. So that that's something that you really need to work on individual drills when you're just throwing routes on air nearest the guy and things like that. Uh, so that's been the tougher part, but the mental part, uh, for the most part, isn't that – uh, isn't that difficult to kind of stay stay prepared for? So I'm always good mentally. It's just the physical part needs to take a little extra time and more reps with that. Matt, you always give us some great advice for the young people here in northeastern Pennsylvania. And, you know, you're living your dream. You're doing stuff that that's uh, very positive in your life. But uh, how about some, some boys or some girls here in northeastern Pennsylvania going through junior high school, high school, trying to live their dream? Uh, what are some steps or some things that you keep continuing to preach on your own uh, for the young people? Well, when it comes to athletics, um, I mean, every day is a grind. Uh, there's no way around it. You know, you got to show up each and every day prepared to work as hard as you can and prepared to outwork that person next to you. Uh, because at the end of the day, everybody's competing for a job. Uh, and in my business especially, no job is safe. Uh, so every day you need to be prepared. You need to do something different every day. You need to do something better every day. And if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Uh, so you have to have the mindset that you want to compete each and every day. And at the end of the day, it's you, you set your goals high, you don't stop to, to, you don't stop until you get there. That's something I've always kept in the back of my mind, and that's something I will continue to have on my mind as, as I continue my NFL career. Uh, yeah, I know you have a friendly rivalry with your brothers. Do you do you get out there and throw some footballs around with them, and they're kind of saying, hey, I can throw a little bit better than you. Do you guys still have some friendly competitions or maybe play some basketball in the backyard or something? Absolutely. It doesn't matter what it is. My one brother actually still will come out and, and catch for me, uh, during some of my throwing sessions, but that, that competitiveness between brothers is always going to be there. You know, it doesn't matter if we're playing Nintendo or basketball or just kind of messing around. It, it's always there, and you know, it, it, it keeps you it keeps you prepared. You know, each and every day. So I'm very fortunate to have two older brothers in my life that have uh, supported me throughout this whole process and have been to the majority of the games that, that I've played in. So uh, yeah, and and at the end of the day, they're one of the, the big reasons why I'm in the NFL. So, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, a big thanks to them. Well, Matt McGloin, always gracious uh, for you to join us each and every year and talk a little bit about your career, what you're doing here in northeastern Pennsylvania to give back. We thank you for your time. Thank you. Matt McGloin, Oakland Raiders here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.